As Stephen woke up, he couldn't help thinking about his day ahead. Hello? Who's that? Of course. Bloody podcast. Stephen was too nervous to pee this morning, knowing what he had to do. Hello? Who, who said that? Asked Stephen to thin air. I wasn't asking thin air, I was asking you, you voice. Stephen was unaware that from 2 a.m. this morning, his life was being narrated. 2 a.m. this morning? So... So, what you just did with the magazine under your bed will remain between the two of us. Thanks. Said Stephen appreciatively as he went back to panicking about his day ahead. No, 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 no. I'm not panicking. Lied Stephen. No, I said I'm not panicking, I swear. Lied Stephen. No, I'm not panicking and don't say lied Stephen. Stephen said untruthfully. God damn it! Stephen nervously got into the driver's seat. Guys, have you have to put up with this all morning as well? You're not nervous, are you, Stephen? asked gunman number one, who considered himself to be the leader of the group. What? I thought you said we were equal. Gunman number one had only said they were equal because he felt sorry for sleeping with gunman number two's sister last night. You slept with Sharon? I, I didn't mean to. Lied gunman number one. She came on to me. Lied gunman number one. I was going to tell you. Lied gunman number one for the third time. Meanwhile, gunman number three had been sitting quietly listening. He was praying gunman number one and gunman number two would not find out he had a three-way with both of their grandmothers just this morning. What? Plenty of experience, guys. <laughs> stop! Listen, guys, right, just stop it, okay? Let's not let him get to us and distract us from what we're supposed to be doing today. Sure. There's been a lot of sexual intercourse going on within the group, and the pensioner sex should probably stop. But let's just remember, we're all friends here, let's get our heads in the game, alright? Let's remember, we're all good, honest, decent people. Now let's do what we came in to do and rob this bank! Yeah! <laughs> it would have been a remarkable and uplifting speech if Stephen, just that moment, hadn't decided to drive off as soon as the gunmen were gone. You wouldn't do that, would you, Stephen? No. <laughs> Lied, Stephen. Shut up! I'm convinced. So what's the plan, boss? So, we get in. I'll go for the bankers. Hands in the air, no funny business, that sort of stuff. Piggy number one, you go for the vault. Start filling the bag with anything with the Queen's face on it. Yes, boss. Other pig, you find some hostages in case it gets messy. Yes, boss. Sorted. Guns in the bag. I'll take these, just in case. Ready? Let's go! Stephen was thinking about whether he could hotwire the car. Now Stephen was thinking about whether there would be a spare key in the car. Stephen was also thinking that maybe he should just run away. But he decided not to. Now Stephen is thinking about a three-way between gunman number three and the pensioners. 
Stephen had been thinking for so long, the gunmen were rushing back and about to get in the car. He was certainly not too nervous to pee now. Quick, try, 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 go, 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 try, 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 try. The gunmen were shouting angrily, and they would have gotten away with it if the police hadn't been narrated about the robbery that very morning. Officer, how can I help you? You have a brake light out, sir. Ah, thank you. Okay. 